they told us you. that people were very passionate about music here. When we got to the airport, there was you know a bunch of young people there who came and met us and took photos. And... We're very thrilled at how excited everybody is. We're very happy to be here. So. We were just teenagers, so yeah. it was just very normal telling our friends and family. We yeah. didn't really come out in the media because yeah. we were not even in the media, you yeah. know? So it was but easier for us. Was... Yeah, our family for the most part is good. I think all parents worry, right? They, they want you to be happy, they want you to be successful. We were lucky, it wasn't like all of a sudden we were put out a single and we were a huge band and we had to come out to everyone. It was like, it was just part of who we were. We met a lot of young queer people and we just felt we should represent them and we should use the platform we had to fight for their rights. I think it's important to note that when we first started, even having this conversation was very rare. People didn't have the language, they didn't have the interest, and I think that even today we've been asked in every interview a series of questions, and that to me is important. Being able to tell our story, talk about our community and our identity is so new and it has a ripple effect in the world when it's when the message is out there. Do I think that from a political perspective everything has advanced as much as the social perspective? No, but the only way to I think really change the world is for the social like cultural communities to change. There's more acceptance now than when we started and that's what's important to us. And Trump can eat a dick. Me. Tegan was born first. Who's the most dramatic? Tegan. <laughs> Her songs, it's I mean, Tegan's songs are much more overtly dramatic. I'm sorry, but that's true. 19 from the con is a very emotional song. True. Who is the most messier? Like, uh, I, I don't think either of us are messy. No. Tone, but I, not, we are not messy in any way, but yeah. I'd probably be less organized. Like Sarah's m more meticulous. We're very organized and clean. Yeah. What is the food that your sister most like? Sarah likes sushi a lot. Yeah, I feel like, but when you really get down to it, we both like fast food. This is like, if no, we're I love Indian food. I'd give up everything for okay, Indian fine, food. Okay, fine, Indian food. But that's kind of like fast food sometimes. There's you know, you can just like bang it out. Food. No. And who kisses first? Oh, God, we probably both share, like, had our first kisses in like eighth grade or something. No, my first kiss was third grade, and his name was Scott. Okay, if you and count that. He took that. me to a fast food restaurant for a burger. You do count that. It's a big deal. First okay, well, then I had grade. my first kiss on the same date as Tegan. She kissed Scott, and I kissed Robbie. And it was and gross. We one, hated it. Uh, your favorite Tegan and Sarah song? Well, I was just going through all That's of our hard. old material and I got really excited listening to a song we did with Tiesto, Feel It In My Bones. Good song. Nice. Solid song. Stands up to overtime.